The Sleeper Dude YouTube channel was born in September of 2008, and the channel currently has 82.7 thousand subscribers. With a lifetime viewership of about 15.9 million, these are great numbers for the popular YouTube car niche. And Sleeper Dude seems to be doing quite well for himself lately. If you're new to the channel, Sleeper Dude is about awakening the sleeping car or cars that have been neglected for far too long. But he doesn't just get the cars running again. He goes a step further and rebuilds the 80s junk vehicles into turbocharged drag cars. And as the machine and fabrication industry sees a surge in the numbers of vloggers, specifically skilled individuals, out to share their expertise on vehicle fabrication, Sleeper Dude is undoubtedly coming up with great content for his viewers. But are there things we may not know about him or his channel? Family Man While this isn't a secret per se, since he vlogs alongside his family, his wife and kids from time to time, there's no doubt that Josh is a man dedicated to his family and his craft. In most of his videos, he brings along his wife and kids and their excellent love for each other, and admirable family dynamics can be felt throughout his videos. He's been married for over 17 years. And yes, he married his high school sweetheart. They met when they were 13. Their love story started with Tosh, his wife, helping Josh with schoolwork. And they hung out quite a lot. They have three kids together now, each with a fun, unique nickname. Their eldest is Wawa. The middle child is Squeezy. And their youngest son goes by Ralphie. This is not only super cool, but also Josh's way of protecting his kids. There's so much more to know about this guy. For example, did you know that Josh is a Tennessee born and raised guy who was interested in machinery from a very young age? Which is why it isn't surprising to his parents and friends that he pursued a machinery related auto body course at Tennessee Tech University where he attended. And soon after his graduation, Josh was lucky and got the perfect opportunity to gain experience in a field that he was trained in. He got a job at a nearby auto body shop where he worked as an auto body technician for close to 15 years. He basically worked on the vehicles, frames, and the mechanical systems. A job he worked for 60 hours each week. Thanks to this job, he had the money to help his family. At some point, however, the whole work-life balance became a challenge. And as he thought about the things that he could do and ways of earning more money, he started vlogging and uploading the content on YouTube. However, money wasn't his only motivator for creating the YouTube channel. Something else, or shall we say, someone else, influenced him into vlogging and the whole YouTuber lifestyle. The inspiration behind his YouTube channel and the name Sleeper Dude. His inspiration for his channel came from his friend, a hot rod owner who he interacted with a great deal. Someone they shared the vehicle fabrication content with. They uploaded most of their videos to the Streetfire.net platform. In case you didn't know, Streetfire.net is a platform built just like YouTube but dedicated to cars. After some time, and with growing popularity on the platform, it only made sense for them to start uploading their videos on YouTube, a space that gave them access to a larger audience and bigger chances for growth. While both Josh and his friend Hot Ron knew about the impact of the YouTube content, Josh was hesitant to upload more content on YouTube. It wasn't until Josh watched a video of a sloppy mechanics video on YouTube and his workaround that he was inspired. Watching that video and seeing how he worked and vlogged felt to Josh like the exact direction he wanted to take which is when he started to work on his channel. His first project involved working on his Maverick, and this project is also what inspired the channel's name, Sleeper Dude. After creating the channel and working on content for Sleeper Dude, Josh struggled because he found it challenging to balance his newfound love and his day job. In the beginning, he'd work on the fabrication and build works for the auto body shop he worked at, and he'd work on his cars and channel over the weekends. Unfortunately, he already worked very long hours at his day job, and putting in the extra hours in his passion project over the weekends meant he didn't have much time to spend with his family. So with a burning desire to follow his newfound passion through YouTube and spend more time with his family, Sleeper Dude resigned from his day job and started working full-time as a YouTuber. This wasn't an easy move though, because being a YouTuber doesn't offer a real form of financial security, and he'd become accustomed to a regular salary. One of the most challenging builds and fabrication projects he's ever taken on is fixing the 1967 Thunderbird, which was badly damaged and heavily rusted. Although this restoration was the most challenging, it's his most memorable restoration project that not only taught him so much, but also had the highest number of views on his channel at just over half a million. Today, he's the guy who scavenges abandoned car yards that have turned into small forests 
and brings to life cars that have been dead for over 30 years. Josh loves animals. They live on a farm and they have close to 50 animals, including two dogs, one cat, four guinea pigs, one mini pig, two donkeys, 10 chickens, 10 cows, 